This is Algebra 2, Lesson 2.5, Applications of Linear Systems. Okay, so there's actually no new mathematics in this lesson. It's just word problems that kind of do what we've been doing all along. So I'm going to help you figure out how to set up your problems, and then I'm going to solve them using the same math we've already been doing. So example A, the school that Lisa goes to is selling tickets to the annual talent show. On the first day of ticket sales, the school sold four senior citizen tickets and five student tickets for a total of $102. The school took in $126 on the second day by selling seven senior citizen tickets and five student tickets. What is the price each of one senior and one student ticket? So I'm going to use variables to represent students and seniors. Um, sometimes you have nice things where you can go like A and B or P and Q, depending on what you're talking about. S and S, I'm just going to say with X and Y. So I'm going to let seniors be X, and I'm going to let students B, Y. Seniors be X, students be Y. Okay, so on day one, I have four senior tickets and five student tickets for a total of $102. Day two, I have seven senior tickets and five student tickets for a total of $126. This is an example in standard form. So I'm going to go ahead and use the elimination method from lesson 2.4. I can already see the same coefficient on the y values. Same tells me to subtract. Four take away seven is negative three. Five y's eliminate. 106, sorry, 102 take away 126 is negative 24. Divide both sides by negative 3. And that tells me x is 8, which again represents the price for a senior ticket. Seniors cost $8. We can substitute that 8 back in for x. I can go top equation, I can go second equation to figure out y or student price. Okay? 4 times 8 is 32. I'm going to go ahead and just write minus 32 on each side rather than rewriting it. 5y equals 70. Divide both sides by 5. Let's see here, 50 would be 10, another 20 would be 4, so that looks like 14. And that's it. So, a $8 senior ticket, a $14 student ticket, and we are Another example, example B, spring A is 18 centimeters long and stretches 0.4 centimeters for each gram of mass added. Spring B is 11.2 centimeters long and stretches 0.54 centimeters for each gram of mass added. When are the springs the same length and what is that length? Okay, this to me reads uh, an X plus B because we have a starting number and we have a rate of change. So for spring A, um, I think I'll just go X and Y again. Maybe you can do like M for mass and S for spring or L for length, but I'm going to just stick with X and Y. So the length of spring A starts at 18 centimeters. And I'm like it. Come on. There it is. And it increases at a rate of 0.4 centimeters per gram added. Spring B starts at 11.2 and it increases 0.54 centimeters for each gram added. Since I have two white like physics equations, I could graph them or use substitution. I'm going to go ahead with substitution since I don't want to try to do with graph paper. Oops, uh, that's an equals. So we have our two equations side by side, minus 
minus both sides, minus both sides, divide both sides. I hope we're pros at this, so I'm going to try to do two steps in one. Um, we do minus 0.4x on each side. I always like to get rid of the smaller x first so we don't have to deal with negative numbers. Um, so I'm also going to, now I'll do two steps. I don't want to do too much. Okay, so we'll just do that. Okay, 18, 11.2, and 0.54, take away 0.4 is 0.14. So now I will minus 11.2 because I need to get my constants on the other side from the x. That gives me 0.14x equals, what is that, 6.8? I don't trust myself right now, especially because I won't be able to divide that in my head. So, um, 18 take away 11.2, 6.8, and then we're going to divide both sides by 0.14. And we have 48 and a half, 48.6. grams are added to each, okay? And then what is that length? We need to substitute that back into the x for either equation. Um, we can go top equation, we can go bottom equation, we can do both to check our answer. Now the thing about this is because we're using a rounded value, uh, we won't get the exact same answer, but it should be very, very close. If I kept more decimals, right, the more decimals I keep, the more accurate my answer is going to be. But I'm going to test both equations and hopefully we have rounded the same answer. So that length looks like 37.4 centimeters. Um, write it out. 18 plus 0.4 times 48.6. Using the same math we've been doing, elimination method, substitution method, solving some word problems. Good luck on the exercises, and please let me know if you have questions.